All right, welcome back to WSFA and welcome into week five of the fever. And we are down here in Otago County in Billingsley, specifically where these bears host the Otago Bill Eagles tonight for the Battle of the Golden Cleats. And uh, joining me live now to talk more about tonight's game and hopefully a win uh, for his team, at least, is head coach Laney Jones of these Billingsley Bears. Coach Jones, thanks so much for joining me sure. this afternoon. Last year was your first year. You had your first taste of this rivalry, at least. Uh, you've been in coaching for a long time. But what did you learn about this rivalry specifically? Specifically, last year. Uh, one thing I learned is, first of all, that this it's a th these kids want it, you know. And, and when I got here, we'd had it for, you know, for a while. And so, you know, for us to, to come into this game and, and lose it last year, you know, was a it was a hard pill to swallow, especially when we was up at halftime. So, when you ask what have I learned, you know, the biggest thing is it's a four quarter game, you know, and, and no matter you know who's up or down, you're gonna have to fight to the end, you know, and. Um, and if you don't take care of the ball and do the things you're supposed to do, you're going to find yourself, you know, in a bad situation in these top games because everybody's hopping, everybody's ready. So, the, and the second thing would just be keeping your emotions, you know, at a level base that we're not getting too high, too low. So we talk about that all week. So uh, that's that's probably some of the main things I learned about this rivalry. You mentioned you learned that the kids really want to win this game, and we live in a day and age where we all want trophies. We want the trophy, we want the turnover chain, and things like that. And you guys play for the the, the golden cleats, you know, trophy. So obviously you. You want to get that back on your side this year. What's it going to take to do that? Well, you got to stop the run. I mean, they're, they're a run heavy team and, and they're really good at it. Um, you know, they don't try to be complicated. I mean, they, they pretty much tell you we're going to run it down your throat and see if you can stop it. Uh, you know, they, they are, have a way to make big plays because of what they do. They create big plays because they load the box. So uh, we just have to be very disciplined in what we do. And, and for us, it's been just taking care of the ball and just uh, taking advantage of, of situations that we have. Um, to make big plays for ourselves that we haven't took advantage of all year. So, uh, you know, we have a chance to make a big play. we got to do that, and we just got to tackle. You know, when we get there, make the tackle, and then uh, put ourselves in, you know, some third and long and uh, situations that way we can make stops and get the ball. All right, last question for you, Coach Jones. This one's not so much football-related as it is family-related, and uh, we were sh uh, shared a post in our Fever Fans on Facebook group. I don't, I don't know if you were aware of it, but it's a post of you and your son. You coach your son on this football team, and it said something, I think, about you know how you, you're you cherishing these moments, these nights. What's it mean to really to be able to coach your son every single Friday, every single day in practice? It, it's, it's very special. I mean, he, he grew up with me. You know, everywhere I've coached at, he got off the bus or he walked from – whatever school building he's in, he came to every practice. So now to be able to coach him and, you know, and I've learned how to coach him instead of always, you know, it's hard to separate sometimes coach and dad, but those moments that are that are good and bad that we learn from are just moments that we would never get any other way. And uh, so I cherish those moments. Uh, and, and I know sometimes he, <laughs> he doesn't seem, <laughs> seem to think that, that I do, but uh, it, it is a special moment for us that we'll always look back. And, you know, a lot of people don't get that opportunity. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. All right, Coach Jones, thank you so much for your time. Sure. I appreciate it. The thank Jones you. family, of course, probably hoping to win the trophy tonight, the Battle of the Golden Cleats. We'll kick off is at 7. We're going to throw it in the weather to find out what the weather's going to be like tonight, Nick.